philosophy is to work with nature instead of working against nature. Grupo Cordonio is a family-owned wine company. With six wineries in Spain, California and Argentina, it is one of the largest wine producers in the world. Their most famous wine is Reimart, which is produced using only sustainable viticulture practices at a 3,000 hectare vineyard in Catalonia, close to Barcelona. We have done sustainable practices uh, maybe 20 years ago. We didn't even know that this word, or we didn't know that this was called sustainable or nothing, but we started learning that maybe instead of spraying every week, spray only two or three times per year. At the beginning, when, when you stop doing something, like applying insecticides or hunting, you feel that you are creating a new imbalance. But sooner by sooner, this uh, recovers a natural balance again. And this is a question of patience, just to wait the nature make its own way. Today, the vineyard has created a certified, sustainable model that uses an absolute minimum of pesticides, insecticides, compost and water. To do a sustainable viticulture, uh, it's necessary to apply the exact input, uh, let's say water, uh, fertilization or even pest control, to each specific area. To do so, we need a very good monitoring to know where is the problem and how big is the problem. We need something that is specific, only treat that specific zone that has the problem. And the consequence of all that will be more biodiverse uh, environment and at the end a natural balance that self-regulate the whole thing. Monitoring is one of the most important tools for controlling the health of the vineyard. The farm uses modern technology, such as a GPS system, when, for example, adding compost to the vineyards. Uh, here we have a map uh, where we have identified uh, some weak zones that we know that are less fertile than it should be. So uh, having this technology, uh, we are able to apply the natural compost only in these zones. Instead of applying the natural compost in the whole block, what we do is apply it only on those zones that we know that they are weaker than should be. Yeah, the machine will start from here, from the road. We'll move on applying the compost and when it reaches this point, the GPS will tell it to stop the machine. So we'll stop and once again, when it reaches this zone, we'll start on the machine and continues applying the compost. And going up and down, it will apply the compost only in the right place. Producing wine based on sustainable practices, making use of a rich and diverse variety of microorganisms, insects, plants and animals, has proved to be beneficial on many levels. Since uh, we apply this concept of sustainability and integrated production, we have noticed benefits in many directions. We have noticed that we have uh, more biodiversity in our vineyards. We have noticed that uh, we apply less labor because we only apply those inputs that are strictly necessary. And this is because our monitoring has been improved. Uh, we have uh, reduced cost, uh, all kinds of benefits that they are not only economic ones. Uh, we have improved the quality of the, of the wines. So uh, it's the only way, no, there is no other direction to go if, if we want to have a future. One of the many sustainable practices the vineyard employs is the use of cover crops. Every second row, the space between the vines is covered with planted or natural crops, depending on the condition of the soil. This helps to limit soil erosion, adds nutrients back into the soil, improves water penetration and increases the biodiversity within the vineyard. The cover crops are left untouched throughout the growing season and after the harvest they're ploughed back into the soil and allowed to decompose naturally. Having a cover crop uh, we have uh, much more diversity and complexity within the soil. It's not a monoculture. Uh, here we have a blend of grasses or oleguminous, cruciferous, uh, different types of uh, uh, weeds. 
This is the nice thing when you see plenty of life. There is all kind of very small insects. In a cultivated soil there is nothing. See all the roots here? This is nice. These nodes here. This is a symbiosis of a bacteria that together with the plant it fixes the nitrogen naturally. So in many of these fields you don't need to apply any nitrogen for years. Yeah, look here there is a milliapod. And these are all what we see is the big ones, but there is thousands of uh, small bacteria and microbes and everything. The Rheimart winery does not permit hunting on its property, protecting the larger animals that live there. Before this no hunting policy was implemented, starlings would damage the vines and grapes, adversely affecting wine production. One of the interesting effects we have noticed uh, having this focus on environmental respect is, for example, when some years ago we had a big problem with the starlings, and lately we don't have a because we left all the rabbits and all the quails and all those animals not allowing the hunting, we have noticed that there is a more presence of foxes or eagles and they have scared the starlings and we don't have them anymore. So uh, we have solved that problem without using any kind of commercial product to avoid them. The vineyard approaches viticulture as a process of continual improvement. It's a model where the vineyard and the natural environment are part of the same system. The sustainable viticulture practices have turned out to be beneficial for the quality of the wine, the economy, the environment and the biodiversity of the area. In the last uh, five years we have seen a big improvement in the environment uh, uh, biodiversity in, in all ways. Every year we learn something and we, the idea now is that we try to do less. The less we touch, the better everything works. If you cannot touch something, not uh, kill a weed, everything works much better.